Welcome to this week's edition of the RegTech Africa News Roundup. And here are the top headlines for the week. CBN revives BDC operations and introduces new mechanism. NIMSI DG retires, acting DG appointed to address NIN challenges. Nigerian fintech MoneyPoint receives approval for acquisition of Kenyan fintech Copo Copo. CBN launches foreign exchange price verification system portal. Ghana's NCA introduces West Africa's first digital audio broadcasting system. Kenya's Andrew Musangi nominated by President Ruto as Central Bank of Kenya chairman. And the digital dollar project and Western Union collaborate on CBDC pilot for cross-border remittances. Now the news in details. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, is taking significant steps on August 17, 2023, by introducing several measures designed to streamline and optimize Bureau de Change, BDC operations. Under the new framework, the range of buying and selling spreads for BDC operations is set to be within minus 2.5% to plus 2.5% of the weighted average rate of the Nigerian foreign exchange market window from the previous day. The adjustment aims to foster stability and transparency in exchange rate fluctuations, benefiting both BDC operators and the general public. Another noteworthy change involves the compulsory submission of periodic financial reports by BDC operators. This development marks a significant shift, indicating the return of BDCs to the nation's foreign exchange markets. President Bola Tunubu has instructed the Director General of the National Identity Management Commission, NIMSI, Ali Aziz, to take a 90-day pre-retirement leave, signaling his eventual retirement. The presidency also announced the immediate appointment of Biso Yekoka Dishote as the new DG of the agency. The transition is seen by the National Association of Telecom subscribers as a potential turning point for the national identity system. They emphasized that NIMSI has faced numerous challenges under the outgoing DG's tenure. MoneyPoint, a prominent Nigerian fintech firm offering a comprehensive payments, banking and operations platform for businesses, has been granted regulatory approval for the acquisition of Kenyan fintech company Copo Copo. MoneyPoint expansion endeavors across the African continent aims to address the financial needs of the unbanked and underserved population. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has introduced a dedicated foreign exchange price verification system portal aiming to facilitate importers' access to foreign currency. In an announcement from its Trade and Exchange Department on Thursday evening, the Apex Bank revealed that the price verification report from this portal will be a prerequisite for all Form M requests, effective from August 31, 2023. Let's go on a short break and when we return, the news continues. Rich Tech Africa magazine, we are a source of insight for Africa's leaders, executives, investors and organizations. A dynamic realm for engaging content to spark impactful conversations. Embrace the future of regulatory innovation with RegTech Africa magazine. Read, explore, and elevate your perspective today. Now, on African news. The National Communications Agency, NCA, has formally launched a trial phase of digital audio broadcasting, DAB, in Ghana. This achievement positions the country as the pioneer in West Africa and the fourth in the entire African continent to adopt the state-of-the-art radio technology. Kenya's President William Ruto has put forward the name of lawyer Andrew Musangi as the nominee for the chairperson position at the Central Bank of Kenya. The announcement revealed on Thursday was conveyed by National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula. The nomination has now been referred to the Finance Committee for thorough evaluation. In the world news, a successful pilot project conducted by the Digital Dollar Project in partnership with Western Union has revealed that a range of potential benefits is using central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, for cross-border remittances. The Digital Dollar Project is a non-profit initiative aimed at promoting research and public discourse on CBDCs.